persecuted, left for dead. Ten years after he was placed behind bars, Christopher Dog Paul Linton is finally coming out as he speaks to the Loop News team about the pain and the suffering that he went to. Kimo Matthews here from Loop News speaking to Mr. Christopher Linton. Mr. Linton, after being released from behind bars, how are you feeling? Well, Mr. Kimo, I can say it's an amazing feeling to be free and to be reunited with the family and the members of the community. You know? mm, yeah. Back on the street yes. for so many days though, why, why, why haven't you come forward you know, to speak your truth, to, to let us hear what's on your mind? Okay, well, let me say, um, you know, after being here for so long, for so many years, one would need some time to talk, like, to feel back the energy, to get back, to mix the society, you know, to get that feeling back. Well, finally we are here now, so, yeah. yeah. Any form of anger, you know, when you sit and look back, you know, so many years out of your life, you know? Spent behind bars, any form of frustration? Well, frustration. It was a frustrating time in my life, yes. Most, frust most frustrating part of my life ever. But we are here today, it's still focused. It's still mentally firm. So, um, I just say it's a part of life and it's an experience. One would never want to encounter again. But um, we are here, we have learned from it. We are here to you know, paint a better picture as we go forward in life. Mm -hmm. So where do you go from here? Uh, from here. I think I'll start by making the right decisions. Motivating, motivating the youth you know, in the right future. You know. In the past, you know, do you think you were misunderstood? You know, um, you know, the police. We have heard reports that you know, they would have gone out to paint a bad picture of you. Why, 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 why do you think that is so? Well, I can't say specifically, but let me just say that I told you I was right. You know, how so? We spoke and the interview, the first interview. I told you I was an innocent, I was an innocent man. I told you I was wrong for that kid. But it speaks for itself the justice, I must apply the justice system for it. You know, for the tremendous work in getting it right. You know? I learned that we just hear it's nice to be free and it's a nice feeling being free. But it's also messed up to be free and still be harassed by the system. When you say harassed, talk to me about that. Harassment. Harassment. Comes on like whichever car, you know that I feel is, you know, whichever car that attaches to us, like the vehicles that we are attached to, that I'm attached to, they normally get pulled over more than once. A lot of times now since I'm home, even with the kids in the vehicle, especially a vehicle that they see that is being occupied by my baby mother. You know, they traumatize the kids after they don't know why. I'm not free, and they're still asking. Are you afraid though, you know, based on what you're seeing and how they're acting, you know? Are, are you in fear? In fear. At times, at times, you know, at times I'm fearful based on a certain environment or uh, environments that I, I, I have to go to so at times. I'm fearful that without the presence of, you know, um, elders or, you know, suitable like elders, I think things, you know, I'm fearful that in those spaces and times, things could go on, will go on because I'm still being harassed by the system.